All the traditional production of ferrous metals can be traced back to 2000 BC. It has been in the last 40 years that the iron and steel making industry has revolutionized its process. The need to cut down on the increasing capital costs, raw material and environmental hazards have led to the recent developments in the industry. Britain, leading the industrial revolution, became the world leader of iron and steel in the first half of the 19th century. It wasn't long before Australia, France, Germany and the United States started exploring the steelmaking process. In Asian countries like Japan, China and India, steelmaking revolutionized the country's development as the technology advanced and industrialization took over. Although blast furnaces have been the workhorse for decades, over the past 5 to 10 years, production has increased via direct production processes. This has led to a greater impact on the world. From the basic open hearth furnace, the process has evolved exponentially as we progress from oxygen converter based steel making to hot metal production using blast furnaces and iron ore smelting. This has further moved to the use of direct steel making processes and smelt reduction technology. Today, the steel industry operates with a very low energy consumption per tonne of steel produced. CO2 emissions have reduced drastically and a safer work environment is being promoted. To ensure a better steel making process, there are several players in the market who are investing in high end research and development. RQ Metal, a Luxembourg based company, has committed to an innovative approach to promote sustainability in the market. In 2014, RQ Metal launched a new sustainability framework outlining 10 development outcomes to create a better future for its people, communities, and the planet. Another leader in the steelmaking industry, POSCO is committed to a brighter and safer future. Its initiatives are benchmarking a global standard in environmental management for effective leadership in low carbon green growth. World crude steel production reached 1,621 million tons in 2015. With a demand this high, we need to make sure that our need for the metal does not impact our environment. As we delve deeper into the process of steel making and technology, there is a huge scope for improvement in the future. These continued improvements of conventional processes will play a major role in the advancement of the steel making technologies and in shaping our future.